Welcome everyone. Today we're going to have a quick chat about the Vouch ecosystem which has just launched. Let's dive straight in. Vouch has been running as a liquid staking protocol on the Pulse Chain network for about 10 months now, so since October 2024. So a lot of people are actually active and using the liquid staking protocol. And how that essentially works is people that are holding Pulse can deposit their Pulse into the liquid staking protocol. Uh, so they essentially stake the Pulse and in return they get a liquid staking token. So that's the vPulse token. That is a, a representation of their stake in the system. Now as users come and stake Pulse into the protocol, that Pulse is picked up and put to work by validators in the system. So these validators go out and they do real world work on the Pulse Chain network. So they're securing the Pulse Chain network and processing the transactions that the users are generating on a daily basis. And in return for that, they get given a share of freshly minted Pulse. So this is minted every day there's a certain amount of Pulse produced distributed out to all the validators that are currently securing the network. So this pulse that's generated by Pulse Chain flows back into the liquid staking protocol and it's shared between the validators who are doing the work and the stakers who are putting in their their portion of the stake, so pulse. And for doing that, stakers are getting approximate yields of about 10 to 12%. Now I say approximate because there's a few things that determine you know, how much yield you get. One is how many of the total validators there are. So more validators means less yield. Less validators means more yield. Uh, but there's also a component which is a little bit unknowable. And that's when the a particular validator is selected to produce a block. And for doing that, they get priority fees. So that's a very important thing, the priority fees. As we flow through the rest of this presentation, keep that in mind that I'm referring to priority fees when we, we talk about what the validators are getting, which is above and beyond the normal rewards. It plays an important part in the Vouch ecosystem moving forward. So recently, Vouch underwent an upgrade and launched the Vouch token. So what is the purpose of the Vouch token? Well, it's to capture value in the system, but also to provide governance in the future. Hence the little asterisk next to the word governance. The, that will come in phase three, so it's not currently active yet. Uh, once we get a wider distribution of that token, then governance will be enabled, and vouch holders will be able to have a say in the settings and the future direction of the ecosystem. What's really important about the vouch token, there's two things that I think are really important. One it's able to generate revenue. So I'm calling it a revenue token and we'll talk about that in a moment, but also it's deflationary. So the total amount of vouch that is ever going to exist has already been minted and is out in liquidity pools and in the hands of holders. There will never be any more minted. So from this point forward, vouch is actually deflationary. That'll be important as we cover, cover what's happening in the system at the moment. Now, along with the vouch token, as part of this upgrade, we also deployed what we're calling the distribution layer. So this is a series of smart contracts that route value around the system and direct it where it needs to go based on the settings of the system. And that's really what I want to cover now. Let's have a look how this works. So I mentioned we've got some revenue options. We've got our validators sitting out here doing real world work and they are producing a certain amount of pulse and the pulse that's coming in from the priority fees, so remember I mentioned that, that's getting sent to the distribution layer as a form of revenue. On the opposite side of the equation, we have our token, which has buy, sell, and transfer fees associated to the token. So that generates revenue from volume on when it's trading on decentralized exchanges, or when arbitrage bots are picking up value discrepancies between the various liquidity pools on Vouch that generates more volume and hence more fees. And all of those fees that are generated from the Vouch token go directly into the distribution layer. So what we end up with is we, we're marrying the Vouch token side of the equation and the liquid staking side of the equation into a unified system. 
what's really important is what we do with that revenue across the whole ecosystem and that's where the distribution layer comes into play. One of the smart things we can do, and we'll touch on a few of the things we can do, this is one of the, the ones I really like, is a certain amount of revenue that comes into the distribution layer is being directed towards creating what we call community validators. So these community validators are essentially owned by the Vouch protocol, by the Vouch ecosystem to be more accurate. And over time, this number of community val validators will continue to increase. They will produce their own source of revenue from doing the validating on the pulse chain and inject that back into the system. A portion of which will go back to the distribution layer and also to the vPulse stakers. So this feedback loop here can continue indefinitely as more re revenue hits the distribution layer and it's directed to create more community validators. They produce more revenue, which then gets split and put into here. So you can see we can continue to create community validators without any other external input of Pulse stakers. So that's really important. You've now got a self-sustaining group of validators, which I like to call money printers, that can continue to produce Pulse indefinitely. Let's have a look at a few of the other cool things we do. A portion of the revenue coming into the distribution layer can go to buy and burns, and we can burn Vouch or VPulse. At the moment, the system is set to be quite aggressive on the burning of Vouch. Now, I've already said that Vouch is deflationary in nature, and this is one of the ways in which it's deflationary, is the buy and burn is essentially pulse hitting the distribution layer, is going out to market, buying Vouch off the market, and then sending it to the burn address. So the total supply of Vouch is going down, but it's also getting brought up before it is destroyed. So that's price positive in that it's buying it up off the market and then it's also great for people who hold Vouch because whatever was brought up was just destroyed. So your value in uh, your share of the Vouch market cap is increasing. That's really important. We can do the same with VPulse uh, and the way that's reflected is it's an increase, it would look like an increase in yield for Pulse stakers. So that's something we can enable in the future if, if we choose to. But for now, we're focused on creating more community validators because they bring in more revenue. So it's important that we build that army of validators. A few other things we can do. We have the ability to distribute Vouch, VPulse or Pulse out to a number of different players in the ecosystem. So we can distribute it to holders, stakers, validators, or relays, which are a very unique part of the ecosystem. Now, some of these are enabled now, some of these will get enabled in phase three. Currently, at the moment, if you're a vouch holder, you are getting a distribution of vouch tokens just for simply holding the vouch token in your wallet. Uh, once again, we can tune the system as we move forward and as the governance is enabled, vouch holders will be able to have a say as to where flows are directed in the ecosystem. But it is very uniting the way this has been constructed. If the vouch token does well, that means more community validators, means more rewards for pulse stakers. Uh, if the liquid staking component is getting more pulse injected into the system by stakers that means more external revenue from the, the validators that are fired up which means more revenue into here which means more buy and burn on vouch or v pulse which is positive for vouch holders and for the stakers over here so the system has really been designed to have positive feedback loops from both sides of the equation so on the liquid staking side and also the vouch token side and it means that no matter where you sit in the ecosystem, whether you're a staker, a validator, or a holder, you get the benefits of the health of the ecosystem. I understand that it's a new system, so there's a little bit to get your head around, but I hope that explanation sort of explains how the uh, ecosystem works in unity with all the various components and how we can continue to generate 
revenue streams indefinitely because the real world work that is happening from the validators and also the external revenue that's coming from trading type activities on the token. Uh, we think we've got the tokenomics really hot in the Vouch ecosystem and we're excited to see how this plays out, uh, not only uh, in the short term and especially as we move into what could be a, a nice bull run, but also in the off season as well. Uh, we're going to have a, a team of validators that will never get switched off and will, will continuously produce revenue and yields for the Vouch ecosystem indefinitely. So we're really excited to see how that looks over the longer term. Hope that's been informative and we look to see you over on the Vouch ecosystem. Whether you're a staker, validator or a Vouch holder, we'd love to have you be part of it.